we have talked about four classes of genes that can cause oncogenesis or cancer. We are going to look at the first category, growth promoting onc genes. So there are subtypes which fit in this category. Autonomous cell growth in cancer cell is promoted by the following elements. Growth factors, presence of extra growth factors, presence of extra growth factor receptors. We'll see examples of these also as we go along. Signal transducing proteins, which convey the message received at the cell surface. Nuclear transcription factors, Factors that bind DNA and cause transcription and translation of certain genes. Cyclins and cyclin dependent kinases. We have already talked about CDKs, cyclin dependent kinases. We are going to talk about them in more detail. So let's look at the first category growth factors. Some cancer cells acquire the ability through mutations to produce growth factors to which they are responsive. We have talked about autocrine signaling. So these cells are going to produce signaling molecule and they have receptors on their surface for that particular signaling molecule. So it is an autocrine signaling example. Many glioblastomas secrete PDGF, which is abbreviation for platelet drive growth factor and some sarcomas make TGF alpha transforming growth factor alpha. Similar loops are fairly common in many types of cancers. So here's an example of growth factors, cells producing growth factors they respond to. Growth factor receptors, mutated growth factor receptors continue to deliver continuous signals in the absence of the ligand. So if there's a mutation which causes a change in the cytoplasmic domain of these receptors and that change basically is the configuration of molecules after that receptor has received a signal. So if a receptor is always in on state, even in the absence of ligand, you can well imagine that that receptor, even in the absence of ligand, will keep signaling the cell to divide, although there is no signal present in the environment for that cell to divide. Epidermal growth factor, EGF receptors, ERBB1 is overexpressed in 80% of small cell carcinomas of lung. ERBB2 or HER2 is amplified in 20%, 20 to 30% of breast cancers and adenocarcinomas of lung, ovary, and salivary glands. HER2 is basically human estrogen receptor. So, two strategies either the receptor is mutated and its cytoplasmic domain is an on state, or the cells produce so many receptors that they can respond to even very low amount of signaling molecules present in the environment. As I mentioned, these tumors are sensitive to even small amount of growth factors, which will result in uncontrolled cell division and of course, ultimately cancer. Here, we are going to now talk about signal transducing molecules. We have talked about these in when we were discussing signaling. For example, inactive RAS only becomes activated when it binds, it exchanges a GDP molecule for a GTP molecule. However, as we talked about, there are proteins called GAPs. One is activating protein. They activate the ability of RAS to hydrolyze GTP into GDP. So if there is a problem with GAP here, so cells, RAS will stay active and continue activating the MAP kinase and which can result in cell division. Mutations in RAST are most common onc gene abnormalities. Approximately 30% of all human tumors contain a mutated version of RAS gene. We have talked about one of these. GAP or neurofibromatin 1, a RAS deactivating protein is mutated in neurofibromatosis type 1. We talked about this disease when we were talking about clinical genetics. I showed you pictures of this individual who was suffering from this disease. BCR ABL hybrid genes. Remember, we talked about CML. These hybrid genes activate RAS pathway like normal P53. So ABL gene product also promote 
apoptosis via its NLS domain, nuclear localization signal domain. I will highlight it. NLS, that's what NLS is abbreviation for. So we have not talked about P53. We are going to talk a lot more about P53 later in a subsequent module. P53 can promote apoptosis. This ABL gene can also promote apoptosis, but however, the fusion gene we talked about, which happens in CML, chronic myelogenous leukemia, this prevents cells to go through apoptosis and also results in uh, cell division, uncontrolled cell division. Nuclear transcription factors, MYC is one of the most important in this category, and polymerase assemble on specific DNA sequence and drive transcription of genes. So MYC is basically a transcription factor. It binds specific region of DNA and it results in transcription and ultimately translation of those genes. MYC is a proto-onc gene and expressed in virtually all cells. So normal MYC is present in all cells and it causes cells, it tells cells to divide when it is activated after it has received signal. So if there's a mutation in MYC gene and it keeps on telling cells to divide, binding specific regions of DNA and causing transcription of genes, for example, like CDK genes or cyclin genes, I'm sorry. So this will also result in uncontrolled cell division. As I mentioned, that MYC can bind DNA and cause transcriptional activation on many growth-related genes, which, can, which also includes some cyclins. Dysregulation of gene, a uh, MYC gene occurs in Burkitt lymphoma, uh, Burkitt's lymphoma, or B cell tumor, make is also amplified in many types of cancers. So let's look at make a little bit more, make pathway. One effect of this pathway is after a cell has received a signal for cell division, a mitogen, RAS is activated. Here's our RAS. It activates MAP kinase, which actually activates which transcription factor, which binds the regulatory region of MYC gene, once the MYC gene is produced, MYC gene itself is a transcription factor. It will go and bind specific regions of DNA and it will recruit the machinery for transcription and result in production of, for example, cyclin D, uh, E to F, we haven't talked about, but we will talk about that later. Increased degradation of P27. This is a protein that can stop cell cycle. So MYC is going to stop production of protein, which is going to result in degradation of a protein that can result in stoppage of cell cycle. And it will also activate other transcription factors that can put cell into S phase and also increase production of cyclin D. So which brings us to the next category of growth promoting onc genes cyclins, which we will talk about in the next module.